Good Saturday morning to my family. So I've got kids all over the United States. Want to make sure you guys know how to cook and not starve. So this is going to be dad showing you how to make some shake and bake chicken. Go to Kroger, Albertsons, whatever you want and get this shake and bake chicken. It's very easy to get. You just go down the aisle that has the spices on it and you get the chicken. So now what we're going to do is, let me just kind of show you this. You have the chicken, again, Kroger, Albertsons, Walmart. And then you'll notice right here that what I've done is the baking pan, I have put um, Reynolds wraps on it. And why would I do that? The reason is because it makes cleaning up much easier. And then finally you saw the egg. What you do is you crack the egg, you, run the, you dredge the chicken through it, and then you put it on the pan, cook it at 400. Another video will follow shortly, just because I love you guys. This is video two, once again, shake and bake with dad on Saturday morning. Just wanna show you, this is what we got right here. Here is the chicken. Chicken has been put in a, first thing you do is you take the chicken and you dredge it through that is two eggs. I don't know if you can see that okay, that's two eggs. And then what we do is we put the shake and bake, the, the spices that come out of here, we put it in a plastic bag like this. And then after the chicken has been dredged through the egg, this is where the term shake and bake comes from. You shake and then we are getting ready to bake. And as you dredge the chicken through the egg, you put it in the bag, you shake it, and it evenly distributes the spices all over the chicken. And you guys are getting a great education. Probably one more video to follow too, if you're lucky. Okay guys, so the chicken has now been ready. It has been shaked and it has been put on the pan. Please notice the tin foil. You need that to help keep it clean. Makes cleanup much easier. You can see that the oven is preheated to 400 degrees. We will put it in the oven for about 20 minutes, turn it, then cook it another 20 minutes. And then your dad's going to have a little bit more to say about shake and bake. Okay, so I know that you have some questions that you want to ask your dad. So I am going to go ahead and explain to you my background with shake and bake. It was as a missionary in North Carolina that we learned to shake and bake. Now, great experience for me, and there is a saying that says that today's children are a little bit confused. I think part of that has to do with the leadership of the adults, and Shake and Bake is a perfect example of this. So Aaron and I went to the store. We bought Shake and Bake. We open up the Shake and Bake container, and all there is is there's spices in there. There is no plastic bag to do the Shake and Bake. So I think the upcoming generation will never understand shake and bake because in the directions, right here in the directions, you can kind of see it says dredge it across the plate. That is not shake and bake. I'm going to talk to Mr. Kraft and tell him that they've lost the whole meaning of the word shake and bake. And in Talladega Nights, you gotta understand that Ricky Bobby talks about shake and bake. It goes back to shake and bake, not dredge it's shake and bake anyway sorry for the rant i love you guys i hope you enjoyed cooking with dad on saturday morning love you guys have a great day now for the moment of truth i can tell you this much now the, sh the chicken cost 522 shake and bake cost about a dollar and the egg let's say a nickel so for about six and a half dollars you can actually have a really good meal so let's let's try the chicken. Oh my goodness. That is so good. My hope is that each of you will be able to have some shake and bake chicken sometime this week. Because what I made is awesome. I love you guys. Miss you guys. Write, call, text, email. But know that you're loved. Bye. Hello guys. Thank you for the feedback on the shake and bake. Now for the Please true test. so cold. So now what we're going to do is Aaron, this is on Sunday now, so this is the day after. It's so cold. It's okay, you can still try it. So Aaron is going to try the shake and bake. <laughs> we like the bones off, but like... 
Um, it's shaking. Do, you, do you need me to tear your chicken off for you? Let's go. <laughs> Sorry. Having a little bit of technical difficulty here, but here comes Erin with her view of the shake and bake. Mmm. <laughs> How was that? It's good. So I think what's happened is Aaron has gotten a little bit of camera shy. So Aaron, give us feedback. It's good. I just think it'd be better if it was hot. So any suggestions on that? I have a suggestion. Be there Saturday morning when Dad does food prep. Sorry, I was working. <laughs>